Hey guys, Miss Jay's here, back with another video. So today, as you've seen, we gonna make a pie. I've been craving pies, but I wanted a savory pie today. So I decided that I was going to do a taco pie. Now this is going to be a little knockoff of Taco Bell's Big cheese it you know, the tostada, because of our ingredients that we are using. So before we get started showing you guys our ingredients, we're gonna take a few minutes. We're just gonna, you know, smile at each other, say hey, everybody in the congregation, you know, give somebody a hug, <laughs> and then go ahead and hit that subscribe button, okay? In our taco pie, we are going to be putting, of course, ground beef. And you guys know anytime I do tacos or anything with taco meat or taco seasoning, rather, I'm always using chorizo with it. So I have some beef chorizo here. I am going to use a mix of taco seasoning and enchilada sauce because the enchilada sauce kind of give it just a little bit more gravy, a little bit more flavor, you know what I'm saying? Now, of course, we will be putting cheese in it. We have our extra sharp and our Kobe Jack. We're gonna shred those up. Um, but the thing that's going to make it more like Taco Bell's Big cheese it so we got us some Big cheese it this is going to be our crust. And we are going to take our Cheez-Its and grind them up and put a little butter in it. And I don't have my butter out here, but we're gonna use a little butter. And we're going to turn this into a pie crust, okay? And then we're going to fix the rest of our ingredients or shall I say our meat, because that will be what's left. And then in order to set it off right, we're gonna have all of our toppings. Of course, we have sour cream. Gonna have us some lettuce and some tomatoes. And for those that want it, you know, I'll leave this to discretion, but it will be, you know, available, which is some cilantro. And then of course we have our sauces. I have some Mateo hot sauce here. I bought this because I like it. I'll eat it with chips and everything. And then we have some Ortega taco sauce. So we might combine these two and then use it like that. But anyway, we're going to get started. First thing we're going to do is get our Cheez-Its grind up. Oh, I forgot, hold on. And we have a half an onion here and we're gonna put that in with our meat and let it you know, marry with those flavors. And we'll be back to put everything together. So let's go get our cheeses grind up and then we'll move on to getting our meat browned and seasoned and put this pie together, okay? So let's go get started. Okay guys, we are back. We have our food processor here and that is how we are going to get our cheeses together. So we're just going to open up the pack and put it in our food processor and grind them up. Hope you guys are having a good day. I came up with this recipe because I didn't get the right size cheeses. I was supposed to get the big ones. These are not big. Hmm. Anyway, as I was saying, I came up with this recipe because I wanted something different. And so I decided, well, let me make a savory pie. That, that's what I want. This is a quick, easy recipe because all you're doing is making your crust out of the cheeses and grounding your meat. So if you guys are looking for a recipe, something good, quick to cook, Tonight, you want to be different. This is a nice, easy recipe, okay? So 
So we wanna make sure we get all of our cheeses grind up to pretty close to a powder. Still got some cheeses in here, so I'm gonna grind this up some more. Up. I'm gonna add in an additional ingredient that I didn't show on camera uh, in my ingredients, but I got it now. So I have my three tablespoons of butter here. I uh, might not need all of that, so I'm gonna kinda eyeball it. But I want my crust a little bit more cheesy, so I have some Cheetos mac and cheese macaroni here. I'm only going to use the cheese packet out of it, okay? That's all I wanted for. And I'm just gonna open this up. You can use this if you want to. You can use another brand if you want to, or you cannot use it at all. Somebody might feel like, hey, all of that ain't necessary. It's just what I wanna do. And I'm using the whole pack. And we're just gonna get it mixed up in our cheese it evenly. Now, I've never done the powder before, but you want to get it mixed up in your cheeses because you don't want the butter to actually cause the cheddar powder to clump, okay? See that? So we're gonna go down with some of our oil And of course you wanna do this just like you do the graham cracker crust. Just make sure you get all of your crumbs coated so they can combine together. Like I'm gonna use all three tablespoons of. Now as you can see, some of our cheeses didn't completely grind up. So you wanna get them grind up as much as possible, but it's not a game changer if all of them are not totally crunched up, you know. All right, y'all. I wasn't satisfied with my consistency of my crust, so I added another three tablespoons of butter to it. Okay, guys, I had to stop right here and tell you that my crust was still not the consistency I quite wanted it. You may need to use a full stick of butter to get it to that sort of wet consistency and make it pliable, but yet so it will still uh, congeal together. And I had a chance to actually taste some of the crumbs. I'm going to tell y'all now, don't skimp on the Cheeto powder from the macaroni. When I say taste like Cheetos. So I got my crust in here. I'm just trying to even it out. Okay guys, here's our pie crust. You wanna make sure that you put enough uh, Cheez-Its in the bottom because you do want it to support the weight of your um, meat once you put it in here. So we're gonna put this in the oven for about 10 minutes. So guys, while we wait on our crust, we're gonna go ahead and put half of our chorizo in. get our half of onion in there so it can cook up with the oils from the chorizo. Then we're gonna add in our ground beef. So 
So guys, if you like savory pies, leave me a comment and tell me what's your favorite. Because I think I wanna experiment a little bit more with some savory pies. I think next, I think I'm in a pie mood, so I think I'm gonna make me a Philadelphia cheese pie, something like that. So we're gonna continue to let our chorizo cook up with our onions, just a little bit more. All right, let's get our ground beef in here. Again, we're not really doing anything special. We just got us some onions in this pot. Got us half of a beef chorizo. If you wanna use pork, you can use pork chorizo. I chose beef because I'm using ground beef. I think I got about a pound of ground beef in here. Didn't wanna to use too much because make sure I can get it all in my pie. So just chopping up our ground beef to try and get it ground up and mixed and marry with the chorizo and onions. All right guys, we almost got our ground beef ready, or at least the, the ground beef browned. You see we got those chorizo oils in there. We're gonna leave those in there, cause that's flavor. So we got our enchilada sauce pack. Gonna use about half the pack, and a little less than half. And we got our taco seasoning. I know y'all wanna know what, what's the difference maybe, or why I use both. I don't know, just for me it just tastes different, flavor-wise. Let me use about a fourth of the taco seasoning. I want too much salt in this, okay? The enchilada sauce makes a, a better saucy, mix and that's what I want. I want a saucy mix and not just taco meat. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna get us about a fourth a cup of water mixed up in here. That was my bowl I had my butter in if y'all remember. And then we're gonna let that render down and our ground beef will be ready. We'll turn our side down just a little bit. Okay guys, as you can see, we have our pie crust out of the oven. I let my meat marry a little bit more. And of course, you, as you can see, I've also uh, remove some grease, so you have to remove some grease. We're just gonna take it, our meat, and just feed it into our pie crust. Now for me, I'm gonna put some cheese on top of this, and I wanna put mine back in the oven and let that cheese melt. If you want to, you got all your ingredients cooked, your pie crust, and everything. You could do this, Put your meat in here and put your cheese on top. Just go ahead and go to town. Got us some, again, some uh, Colby Jack mixed here. And then underneath we got us some sharp cheddar. I just got it all mixed up together. Just gonna spread that cheese on there. Put as much as you want. Try to work it down in there a little bit so it can help tighten that meat up.
All right, y'all. I know that seemed like a lot of cheese. Yep, it's on there. Okay. So we're gonna put this back in our oven, let it let our cheese melt on top, and then we're gonna go ahead and get our uh, lettuce and our tomatoes cut up, and we're gonna be ready to go. Save a little cheese for top to top two, okay? So here we go. Okay, guys. Here is our cheesy taco pie. We got our cheeses on the bottom, our ground beef and chorizo and onions in the middle, and our cheese melted on the top. We're gonna go down now with our toppings. We got our sour cream. Those of you that don't like sour cream, you can omit this part. We're gonna put a lot. Then you see we got our lettuce and our tomatoes cut up over here. We're gonna put those on top. Evenly. We want some lettuce in every bite. Good for you. Y'all hear Master Chef say good for you. Yeah, they did. All right. Then we're gonna take a few of these chopped tomatoes. We're just gonna layer those on, on top. You can put as little or as much of these toppings as you want. And we got our cilantro. I didn't chop it up. I'm just gonna tie it up here on the top. You wanna chop yours all fine and make it julienne, that's good. All right, that's it. Here is our big cheese it pie. All right, seemed like it was missing something, so we put us a little bit more cheese on top, okay? So this is our big cheese it pie. It was very easy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We want to thank you for watching. If you haven't hit that subscribe button already, please do. We really appreciate it. We thank you all for all the comments, all the love you guys are sharing by watching our videos and supporting us. We really thank you. Now we're going to cut this and we're going to get to eating, all right? We will see you guys in the next video.